16 iOS 16 features that I really love. Number one, the brand new lock screen. Let's take a look at it. The brand new lock screen is customizable and I actually have been having a lot of fun with this. Let's take a look at this. When you hold it down, just like the watch faces, you can switch between the lock screens that you customize and you can create really good looking stuff and add some widgets which is very customizable especially compared to the previous iOS's. Now let's go ahead and create one. If you define people in your photos app you can select people. I haven't defined anyone on this one yet. Or you can add photos. You can have photo shuffle where you select a couple of photos or you can have emojis where you just select emojis and it just makes a collage with them and you can select how they are aligned and change the background color to whatever you want and then you can have weather animations in California right now it's really boring and <laughs> it looks blank and boring you can have astronomy you can have earth earth detail moon moon detail solar system and then you can have color and then once you pick something you like, let's go here and I don't know, let's go to photo shuffle and select one of the wallpapers that I created using iPhone 13's uh, Mac macro capability. I like this one a lot. Let's add this. And then top we have widgets where you can change it to specific stuff. And then we can change the clocks font and color very good and at the bottom we can add other widgets let's go here for example to weather and add this and add this and then let's add a battery perfect and when you go into the main screen uh, you can see the wallpaper there but if you want to make the wallpaper blurry you need to go right now I bet they're gonna fix this soon you have to go to your wallpaper and then here you can select this and this will blur your background or you can select a different color or a different photo for your home screen this is the lock screen with the new notifications and this is the home screen number two now the face ID unlocks while you're holding the phone sideways. Yes, yes, it finally happened. Let me stop recording this because it's gonna stop anyway. And it unlocks. I'm so happy about this because when this is mounted on a gimbal or something similar or a car mount that is, you know, on a landscape mode, this was a really difficult thing to do and now we have it. But I think it only works with iPhone 13s. Number three, when you go to your Wi-Fi, now when you tap on information, you can see your password. When you tap on it, it asks for Face ID and then you can see your password. Permission to paste. Before iPhone was showing us that it was pasting a text from another app to the app you're in, now it asks for your permission to paste that text. When you go into sound and haptics and go to keyboard feedback, now we have haptic feedback on keyboard. So while you're tapping, it vibrates a little, gives you a haptic feedback, and it gives that tactile feeling. If you want to reach your hidden or deleted albums, now it requires face ID. Now the AirPod settings appear underneath your name in the settings and you can tap on it and you can make the changes as you wish easily. The way the music appears on lock screen has changed. Now it shows like this, which I thought was very clean and nice. And when, the ho when you're holding the phone in your hand, it's right underneath your thumb. Now when you go to messages, you can write a message, send it, and then you can tap on it. And then you can edit it. Or you can undo send. You can do this in 15 minutes of sending a message. If you're sending a message to someone who has the previous iOS, it doesn't get deleted from their phones, by the way. 
and it doesn't get edited as you can see. Same thing goes to messages. In messages you can undo send, which means it doesn't actually send the email, it just holds on to it for a little bit if you decide to cancel it. Also you can schedule an email. Also you can have follow up if you wanna, if you wanna read the email later. Now we can capture text from videos as well. So if you're filming something and it has text, you can go and grab that text. I have a video here. I can pause this. And as you can see, I can copy everything I see there. And there's a new feature called lift subject. And what that does is you go and tap on a photo and it just grab, it just cuts out the background and you can go into your messages and just send that without a background. And it does all the cropping for you. Now, as you can see, the dictation actually knows where to put full stop or where to put a comma. And actually the keyboard is still here. So what that means is I can use the keyboard and interfere the stuff I'm seeing. For example, Oh, I fixed it by itself. I was going to go and change that to now, but it, <laughs> I think, looked back to it and realized I have zero accent and fixed the text accordingly. But what I can do is no accent and send it like that. This is, this is a really good feature. I like this. Now in maps, we can add stops. This is something I really wanted and now it's here. This is something I've been using on Google Maps a lot while I'm planning a day outside, if I'm gonna go and shoot, if I'm gonna go do stuff. This is very useful for planning a trip as well. And now we can do it in the maps as well. As you can see, I'm gonna start from Apple Store and I'm gonna go to Griffith Observatory and then let's say, I want to stop by Starbucks. I can change the order. This is much more logical. And there you go. Now we have live captions. Let's go to our accessibility. And in accessibility, we go to live captions beta. And this works with everything. As soon as you turn it on, it puts a little icon here. And when you tap on it, it opens up. And if you're watching a YouTube video or whatever the phone is playing, it gives you live captioning and it works with FaceTime. Hello, how's it going? It's going good. How about yourself? I'm doing very well. I'm filming right now and we are testing out the live caption feature. So if you can tell us some stuff, we will I can take things. What are we, we going to talk about though? Let's talk, about let's talk about how how I finished Cyberpunk to 100% and got the Platinum Trophy. So you, you want to talk about how insane you are? <laughs> what you're trying to say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, I liked the game, you know. I, I, I get it. I just, I, I couldn't get into it that much like you did. That's, that's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. A lot of, lot of, uh, lot of time. Only, How much time? only 210 hours. That's 210? It. Yeah. Two, one, zero? Yeah. What the heck? It's like... You could have been playing Warzone with me? That's true. That's, now you have a and point. you wasted your time getting 100%? This is true. I didn't update my Apple Watch to new watchOS because I don't like to update stuff that I cannot... Uh, downgrade later on, but we will have AirPlay feature on the iPhone, which means we will be able to control the watch from the phone. And 17, which I saved for last, now we have shared tabs. Now we can share tabs with each other. And what that means is if we're gonna go somewhere, if we're gonna do something, if you're gonna, if we're planning something together, we can have a group of tabs that is shared amongst people. Just remember not to log into weird web pages from those shared tabs. 
Well, that's actually 17 things I like about iOS 16. But what I'm really curious about is what is your favorite thing about iOS 16? What is the thing that you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. Did you watch the keynote? Did you enjoy the keynote? Did you see Craig's insane performance once again during that keynote? I mean, he once again stole the show. Should you upgrade to iOS 16 beta 1? No. Thank you very much. No, I said no. Don't upgrade to iOS 16, especially your main device. This thing is um, not ready to be on your main device. I upgrade my iPad only because this is my job and I, I'm not happy. I may downgrade. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And until I see you next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoş çakalın.